Welcome to a new FlexiLoop tutorial series. In the first series about FlexiLoop, I've explained the basics of FlexiLoop and how to use it in combination with FlexiSoft. This series consists of one animation and three video tutorials. In this video, I will introduce two new types of FlexiLoop nodes, along with the features and benefits they might bring to your application. Here you can see the two new FlexiLoop nodes. On the one hand, we have the new diagnostic node, which enables easy commissioning and fast diagnostics during operation. And on the other hand, we have the new master node. In addition to the features of the diagnostic node, this one makes it possible to use FlexiLoop in combination with the FlexiClassic safety controller from SICK. At first, let me tell you more about the diagnostic node. There's a 5-pin M12 standard connector on each side. So the diagnostic node can be placed at any position within a FlexiLoop cascade. And you can place as many diagnostic nodes as you like in each cascade, in addition to the 32 FlexiLoop nodes. Now let me explain you the features of this node. At the moment we see the diagnostic node within a FlexiLoop cascade consisting of 32 nodes and sensors. The cascade is connected to a FlexiSoft. Basically, the diagnostic node is used to monitor the FlexiLoop system during commissioning and in operation. And therefore, it has 32 node LEDs. One LED for each possible node within the cascade. Furthermore, there's the operating mode LED to tell you in which mode the diagnostic node operates. Green is the transparency mode, orange is the commissioning mode, and red means that there's no valid input signal. Right now, the LED is green, so the flexi loop cascade is in transparency mode. The other important operating mode, the commissioning mode, will be explained more detailed in the next video of this tutorial series. And last but not least, we have the loop integrity LED. This LED simply tells you if the flexi-loop communication is running or interrupted. Now let me show you what happens if I actuate a sensor in the flexi-loop cascade. Now the first LED is flashing green so we instantly know which sensor has been actuated. For comparison, you can see here the flexi-loop node where the sensor has been actuated. Here, the MS LED is constantly green and the EMS S LEDs are off. The node LEDs also display other statuses, if for example static or dynamic errors occur. Now let's talk about the master node. Up to now, FlexiLoop has been working in combination with the software programmable FlexiSoft safety controller. Now, with the master node, it is also possible to use FlexiLoop together with our FlexiClassic safety controller, which is configured by a rotary switch. Therefore, the master node works as a kind of translator between FlexiLoop and FlexiClassic. So it always has to be the first node within a FlexiLoop cascade. On one side the master node has a 5-pin M12 standard connector to plug in the FlexiLoop cascade. On the other side, where we have to connect the two words of FlexiClassic, there is an 8-pin connection. Why 8 pins and how to use it will be explained in video 3 of this tutorial series. And here you can see the master node in operation. Due to the green operating mode LED, the master node is operating in the safe mode, which means that the master node transmits relevant safety signals to the FlexiClassic. Compared to the diagnostic node, the node LEDs 1 to 32 basically have the same pattern. However, the master node has no loop integrity LED. And of course, there's a reason for this. The master node is available in two versions. And so far we've seen master 1. And here is master node 2. This one has additionally a 5-pin connector with a non-safe input to operate actuators on a flexi-loop nodes and with a non-safe output to transmit switching signals 
from the nodes to a standard controller. Alternatively, you can also use the non-safe output as an IO link interface, which allows a live connection with the process control system. So where there is no LED on master 1, there is an LED on master 2 for the visualization of the IO link status. That's been it so far with the introduction of the new FlexiLoop nodes. In the next video of this tutorial series, we'll have a closer look how the master and diagnostic node are useful tools during commissioning of safety functions.